Hey guys, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 65 of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And between parts, I think I've gone insane because this is like the most amusing thing to me ever. Watch this. Oh my god. This pole is just crazy when you do this. It's just. I don't know what. This is just so funny to me. <laughs> it just keeps expanding and retracting. It's. Just, I don't know. Okay, that's enough wasted time though. Uh, what we're really doing here at, on, at 10 o'clock. 10 p.m. on the night of the first day, is that we want to head into the latte bar here, because, um, oh yeah, I did reset time, by the way, because last time was the second day, so obviously I had to reset time, but we're here because I want to go ahead and buy some, uh, of uh, this stuff, the Chateau Romani, which I haven't bought before, it's 200 rupees, very expensive, but it's worth it, yes, drink to replenish all of your magic power, but it does a little bit more than that. The drink even improves your stamina. Swirl around with your tongue to enjoy the flavor to its, f to enjoy its flavor to the fullest. Whoa. Oh, that's a little bit uh, visual. Uh, so yeah, when you drink this, it not only replenishes your magic power. Here, I'll even show you right now, since this is kind of why I got it. Because I want it for the stone tower, because I know you use a lot of magic in that place. Or, I think I remember you using a lot of magic. But now you can see that your magic bar is flashing blue up there. Uh, I'm trying to make a link look at it, but that's kind of hard. Um, yeah, that means that basically you cannot run out of magic until you reset time. In which case, your magic will revert to its normal greenness. So, un essentially, you have unlimited magic right now, and you're probably going to want that for this temple. And speaking of the temple, I think it's about time that we headed there, don't you? There are a few more side quests we can do, sure, but I think we just need to head there. Holy crap, the shading on Link right here is so cool. It's like an awesome gradient effect. Anyways, let's head to Icona. And get ready for your mind to be blown. This is going to be one crazy adventure, folks. And it's going to take like a whole video just to get to the freaking temple. Oh man, but let's see if we can take a look at it from here. Holy crap, there it is. Do you believe that? You are my Everest. Let's do this. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. This this is going to be like practically blind too because again, just like the uh kind of like the spider house in Great Bay. I haven't done this in like 2 or 3 years or whatever. Well, not 3 years. A little bit less than that. Anyways, so let's get ready to enter. The stone tower itself, I don't remember it being too bad, but the temple, good god. So welcome to Stone Freaking Tower. Whoa. Rock's exploding and it's so tall. And if you make one misstep, then you're going down there. Man. This is just the craziest place. I don't think I'm even ready to do this, but you gotta tackle it eventually. Here we go. Alright, so basically the whole gimmick with this place is that there's these switches. And when you press them, stuff like that happens. These blocks move. But when you step off the switch, the block will go back to normal. So how do we remedy that? Simple. Remember that song we learned in Iconic Castle? Yeah, I gotta make those creepy ass statues appear again. Alright. <laughs> I'm surprised I actually remember that song. Well, I did say that I remember it easier than most people do, but still. I'm surprised I actually played it that fast. And there we go. Yeah, and you can make four statues with that song, like it said, but the Deku one, it can't, since it can't actually press down switches, it won't be very useful at all to you here. So, essentially, you only have three statues that you can press down switches with. <laughs> Stupid Brock, he blocked me. Hate you. Oh, God. It's an what? I didn't know these things had mouths. Look at that. I didn't realize that that thing had a mouth. It's on its body. Stop hitting me. Go away. Hey, you can stop that. <laughs> Thank you. Man. Alright, so now there's another one here. But if we press this one, then it's going to move that block. But if we just play the Elegy song as we are right now, it'll make another Link statue, and then the one down there, that we can't see because there's stupid things in the way, it'll disappear. So you have to become a different form. I guess I'll be the Goron, since that's easy at all. I'll just take off my bunny hood. My lovely bunny hood. And you're going to be seeing me play this song a lot in this place. Wait. Alright. Yeah. I might eventually just start cutting out me playing this song, because this actually does take a while. It takes like, I don't know, 15 seconds every time. Probably a little, little bit more. 
Uh, but it's kind of crazy. So I might start cutting it out. I might not, though. I might get too lazy. Can I reach that? Oh, I can. Cool. Awesome! Whoa! Uh, from up here, there's another switch. So we're going to need the Zora for this one. Dude, you're already on the Mask 3. And how many masks are we missing? We're missing one, two, three, four, five masks. Wow. And four of them actually come from a side quest, I think. Hey. What's a fire keys doing here anyways? Jeez. Alright, and that moves, then that moves. So that'll make a path for us to cross, but we have to do this stuff too. Alright. Hmm. That sounds cooler on guitar. It really does. I think all the songs sound cooler on guitar, honestly. Except maybe like one or two. Mm. I remember one time, like off screen, I played the song of time on guitar and it sounded like utter crap to me. I don't know why. It sounds even worse on the freaking bongos. Goron bongos. Alright, so here, um, these switches, they'll just revert those blocks to the original positions. Crap. I hate these freaking keys. Get, up, get back here. Thanks. Yeah, so if you press, these switches are essentially useless and you're, unless you're actually going down. And why you would ever want to go down stone towers beyond me, you can just warp right out, so there's no point. And there's boulders just crashing everywhere around here. Alright, this is the next, ow! Damn it. Okay, so that does that. So. Yeah, this place, this like stone tower, it's not too puzzly, it's pretty linear. But it can get kind of, I don't know, confusing sometimes. Depending on, like, if you realize that those three switches down there were useless. Mm. And that seemed like it kind of confusing to you too, but... That's basically the block that the other Link statue had moved. Since the Link statue is here now, it's reverting to its original spot. That's kind of confusing to wrap your mind around, but... If you don't think about it, it makes sense. I don't think I've ever done this place at nighttime either. It's actually kind of more ambient. Isn't everything just more ambient at night? Hmm. And there we go. So that's two of the three blocks that we need. This guy's gonna hit me, isn't he? Oh my god! Don't. <laughs> I'm gonna get. I'm gonna play the song with a freaking laser shooting me in the knees. That's scary. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why everything seems to more ambient at night. It's just like I don't know. Just something about it. Oh, what? What? Wait. Did, oh yeah, that was the other block moving back. Duh. I just said that. Too. Wow. All right. Let's get past this thing. Uh, dude. Okay. I'll just hide behind this thing. That way you can't hit me. I hear you shooting me, but you can't hit me. Aha. And there's the last switch. Need the Goron. Yeah. I guess it's just because there's a lot less noise at night than there normally is. Even though, like, sometimes, even though crimes are more perpetrated at night, so you'd think it would be, like, louder. But I guess it's only loud when there's actually crimes going on. And crimes don't. Well, they do happen a lot, but. Alright, I need to stop talking about that, dude. Man, this is so boring. Ugh. How, how long have we spent on this, too? Like, ah. Uh. We spent like almost nine minutes on this. Well, I did get the Chateau Romani at the start too, so I guess that's part of it. So, but still, that's like at least a good seven minutes just on this freaking stone tower puzzle. Crazy. And these three switches, they'll do the same thing that those other three useless switches did. Alright, there's the next hook, hook shot thing. And yeah, basically, this place is just rinse and repeat. Just keep playing the same things over and over again and hook shotting. Uh, can I hook shot? No, I can't reach that. Somewhere else? Oh boy. Do I have to like hop down? So I can actually reach that hookshot target? Because that's the only one I can see from here. Alright, that works. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know. I, th like, I thought I saw for like a split second that the moon looked like... It had like some kind of blue lighting on it and looked really gradient. And you couldn't even see its face so it actually looked like a moon. Like a real moon. I don't know. Maybe it was just like a trick of my, trick of my eyes. But that was so weird. I want to see if I can see it again. Where's where's that moon at? Oh, it's being blocked by that platform. Okay, maybe when we maybe when we get up there, I'll see if my eyes were just being stupid. 
Alright, there's the entrance of the temple, by the way, in that giant face type thing. It's like a tiki mask. Alright, Navi. Oh, I just said Navi. Tattles going up there. I think you can, like, play a scarecrow song or something. Um, wait, there's one up there. Can I get on top of this and reach that? Let's try. Oh, look at all those white dots moving around on the map. That's crazy. And once you get up here, you will see complete salvation. Oh yeah, owl statue. So now you can just warp up here anytime you want. If they didn't have that here, this place would just be... I don't know, so freaking tedious. Can I see the moon from here? No, I'm still being blocked. Well, maybe you can like pause at that point in the video that you could see the moon. And yeah. Alright, so now we just have to get across to the stone tower, temple, entrance, thing. Stop talking. And now, we just have to play the song three more times and we're done. For a while, anyways. Oh, man. I love that vortex that appears around Link when he plays the song. I think that happens when he plays pretty much any song. But, um... I don't know, the one for the LG statue is just kind of... It seemed kind of different. Maybe because it's brown or orange. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, Goron. I still say that he's, like, playing way too many notes right there when he, like, actually plays a song. He's, like, having a freaking jam session every single time he plays, like, even, like, a three-note song or whatever. Uh, there aren't any songs of the three notes. What am I talking about? I think like six notes is the minimum. It was five notes in Ocarina of Time. Maybe. And there's the last block. What? What? That's not supposed to happen. Huh? Oh. Uh, damn it. Now I'm confused. <laughs> he just sat on top of the other one. Like a dummy. Wow. Alright, do I have to like... Um... Let's try this. I'll put... I'll stand on this one as Link, so that it'll move the statue off the other switch. Yeah. Gee, I didn't realize they depressed these in a specific order. That's crap. That's so dumb. I don't even remember that. So dumb. <laughs> Just the way I said that. Oh, something happened there. Now what happens if I press this one? Okay. I think that's right. But it looks like I could almost make it even just like that. If the Maybe if I had the bunny hood. Let's try it. Here we go. Ooh, that's a big jump. That's a big, big jump. Is it worth it? Ah! <laughs> no! I da damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! No! Into the eternal abyss. Well, you know what? We have a freaking owl statue up there, so that's good. <laughs> Should have known they wouldn't have. They wouldn't let you have a shortcut up there. That's crazy. Uh, well, now you see what happens if you make one mistake. If you think you can make a jump and you can't, you just get completely owned. Are my statue's still here? Maybe. Um. Dude, don't target that. Ah, uh, no, they're not. Crap. You know, I'm just gonna make the statues off screen. Hold on. Okay, so I'm back. Now I made all these statues. I even actually made one of the Deku. Just because you don't get to see him much at all. The Deku statue. And put him up there. He's so triumphant. And now let's hop. What? What just happened? What the? F <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> All right, that was just complete and utter stupidity. I hit like an invisible barrier that wasn't even there. Anyways, let's just hop across and hope that doesn't happen again. And there's another, like, three pointless switches here. But these ones are actually more pointful than the other ones, and you'll see why later on. So here it is. We've got the giant face. Man, this this whole area is just, like, tiki themed. Oh, there's the moon. It doesn't have a blue light on it. I guess that was just me. Man, 
Can you, like, get over to those places? <laughs> I'm just looking around at all this architecture, just, like, trying to avoid the inevitable. But seriously, it would be cool if you could get to those places. They just, like, seem like such inaccessible areas that you'd love to see what's over there. Man, you've even got, like, a tongue thing here coming out of the mouth. Alright. So, next time, we take on... Stone Tower Temple. Thank you everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.